Hello and good morning. Uh, today's video slideshow will be concerned with the solutions to the 228 practice exam that was posted online earlier this week. There are several videos um, spanning the full 12 problems. Um, feel free to skip around. Each video will be labeled with which problems that it addresses. If you have any further questions, feel free to email me. All right, let's begin. Our first problem is to express the parametric equation c of t equals log of t 2 minus t in the form y equals f of x. All right, so solution number one. We're starting with a parametric equation. So x and y are both dependent upon a parameter t. What we want to do is convert this, if possible, into an ordinary function. So we'll start with x equals ln of t. We can solve this equation by taking the exponential of both sides. e to the x equals t. Now that we have a way of expressing t in terms of x, we can substitute this in for y. So, y equals 2 minus e to the x. And that's all there is to 1. Our next problem, number 2, is about sketching the graph of a function. Now, I fully expect that you'll be using a graphing calculator uh, in these exercises. So let's pull up mine. Now the fun particular function I give you um, for the practice test isn't very well suited to graphing by hand just because of the numbers. But I'll show you what you might be asked to do. So on a multiple choice test exam, I might ask you um, to pick which of the following graphs matches the function, uh, the parametric function. So we graph our function here. Yep. My zoom is off. All right. So you get some picture like this. Well, that might be one of the pictures provided. Or you could do a number of things with the window. I could change my limits of t from 0 to pi, and then graph. Get the same thing you see. I could change my limits from um, 0 to pi to minus pi to pi. And then I get a little different picture. Likewise, I go from minus pi, I could go to 0 and get another picture. Or finally, maybe from minus pi over 2 to pi over 2 and get yet another picture. And of course, I'm certainly free to um, adjust the window settings. So the pictures that appear on your test need not be exactly what you'd see in your calculator. So keep in mind that there are a couple of things that are important when, when graphing um, a parametric function. I mean, this graph seems to look something like this depending on the parameters. But what are the lower limits and the upper limits of t? You know, these are important because depending on what these are depends on how much of the graph you actually see and what portion you see. Also consider the window settings. Just because your calculator graphs it at a specific set of window settings doesn't mean that's an optimal viewing window. And so I'm certainly free to present uh, better viewing windows. So number two is probably going to be more of a calculator exercise. All right. Number three. So number three presents you with an equation y equals 8x squared minus 3x. Now you're asked to write a parametric equation for this. And the one very easy way to do that is to say that x equals t, and then y equals 8t squared minus 3t. But it's not the only way. There are an infinite number of parameterizations. So let's consider one. Um, I could make x equal to t minus 1, for example. And then y would be equal to 8t minus 1 squared minus 3 times t minus 1. And that could be simplified considerably to 8 
equals t squared minus 2t plus 1 minus 3t plus 3. Distribute 8t squared minus 16t plus 8 minus 3t plus 3. Combine some like terms here. I'll have 8t squared minus 19t um, plus 11. So this is also a parameterization. Well, rather, in, anyway, um, t minus 1, 8t squared minus 19t plus uh, 11. Just like the above parameterization would be t comma 8t squared minus 3t. So there are a number of possible ways um, to parameterize this equation. And in a multiple choice setting, you can expect um, this one probably not to be one of the options, but something slightly trickier. But again, you have a calculator. You have the ability to um, look at what x is, plug it into the original y, and mess it around and see what you get. All right, the next video will deal with further problems. This is one through three.